My name is Philip Doran, and I'm a senior at Manhattan College studying history and philosophy. Through the Manhattan College Holocaust Resource Center, I was given the opportunity to interview Hersha Pollock. Hersha was born in Frankfurt, Germany in 1919. She grew up in a small Jewish family in Poland, Danzig, and into Italy in 1937. Four years before Hersha and her family arrived in Milan, the Nazis came to power and soon implemented anti-Semitic laws and propaganda against the European Jews. On September 1, 1939, the Nazis invaded Poland, which began the Second World War. At this time, Hersha was living a normal life with her parents in Milan. Yet in 1940, Italy joined the war as an ally to the Nazis and forever changed Hersha's life. Hersha's story is unique in that whereas many people did not attempt to help the European Jews, she shows how the Italian people did not maintain anti-Semitic attitudes, but rather attempted to help. During the Holocaust, Hersha and her mother were forced into hiding and had to get false papers. Her father was arrested soon after Italy joined the war and was put into the Ferramonte camp, which was an Italian concentration camp. Hirsch discusses her childhood and the way in which the Holocaust affected her life. The Holocaust resulted in the death of nearly six million Jews, yet due to Hirsch's circumstances, she was able to find hope through the Italian people. Unfortunately, even though there were people who attempted to help the Jews, there were many more who said yes when they could have said no. This attitude unfortunately still exists in the modern day and suggests why genocide still continues even in the 21st century. Genocide is a world problem and must be addressed and cared about by all people. I study genocide because I want to make a difference and maintain my faith in humanity. Genocide did not end after the Holocaust. It has continued and has affected the lives of millions of people from Cambodia to Darfur. The fact that a survivor of the Holocaust is able to maintain faith in humanity after what was done to the European Jews is incredible. Hirsch is not only an incredibly strong woman, but an educator. Her story teaches us that we all have the ability to make a difference in the world. This documentary is my attempt. I hope Hersha's story and my questions lead you to want to study the atrocity of the genocide and make a difference in this chaotic world. We should all never forget and continue to say never again. This is Hersha Pollock's story.